Elizabeth Taylor, Richard Burton, boom, arty, weird, a total F grade cinematically at the time of its release in 1968, Joseph Losey was the only director to lose money on the infamous couple who were the biggest box office draw of the 1960s. Screenplay by Tennessee Williams, adapted from his play The Milk Train Doesn't Stop Here Anymore, originally a vehicle for Tallulah Bankhead, also starring Tab Hunter on Broadway. Here Most people, like myself, know of Boom because of filmmaker and visual artist John Waters. I first noticed the poster for Boom in the background of films like Pink Flamingos. And Multiple Maniacs. Elizabeth Taylor plays Sissy Goforth, the richest woman in the world who owns her own island, is dying of a mystery illness, and dictating her memoirs to an extremely elaborate intercom system. She's such a great female female impersonator dominatrix that at times she even seems to control the film's soundtrack. Pitchy. Full of Tennessee Williams' brand of melancholy, hilarious, truthful dialogue. I to you that life is all memory, except for each present moment that goes by so quickly you can hardly catch it. <laughs> oh, no, don't depress me. Oh, no, 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 look, watch. The film was such a flop upon its release, it was even retitled with one of the lamest rebrandings of all time. Boom was re-released with a measly exclamation point attached to its title, and I don't think it helped it any at the box office. Now tell them what I want to put on the table. A cold bottle of mineral water, suntan lotion, cigarettes, codeine tub, a bucket of ice, a glass, a bottle of brandy, my newspapers. The Paris Trip, the Rome Daily America, the Financial Times, the Wall Street Journal, the Daily Express. It's that goddamn thing. Roger Ebert said there are different kinds of bad movies. Some are simply wretchedly bad, like, well, you know, and others are bad but fascinating, and Boom is one of these. He gives it an oddly good review, and I sort of agree, even though I don't think Boom is so bad it's good, I think it's so good it's genius. I love Boom for many reasons. It's just unlike any other film I've ever seen. Sometimes it feels like a Fellini movie, sometimes it feels like a John Waters movie with a big budget, but before the fact. I just love everything about it. It has so many bizarre nuances and definitely takes multiple viewings to absorb all of those. That should be an interesting costume for him. Of a professional Japanese John Waters has stated that he and Divine used to go to the movies, sometimes tripping on LSD, always with the assistance of pot or hash, seeing art films like Inga, I O Woman, Chelsea Girls, or drive-in films like Blood Feast and Faster Pussycat Kill Kill. Divine idolized Elizabeth Taylor and even smoked Salem's the same brand as her. The more I watch Taylor epics like Reflections in a Golden Eye, The Driver's Seat, Boom, I see the profound influence Taylor had on Divine as a drag archetype, but also the detailed, hilarious comedy of manners Tennessee Williams wrote and how it influenced John Waters' comedy. What is your reaction to Boom? Should John Waters get the Joseph Losey tattoo he teased about in his 2019 memoir, Mr. Know-It-All? Leave a comment, like and subscribe, and thank you for watching our first episode of Strangest Films by Jacob Lomax.